Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be changing my ear piercings together on camera right now for you guys. Um, little fun fact about me, I do not like changing my own piercings. I find it very nerve wracking. I find it very scary, but I really, really enjoy watching these types of videos on YouTube. So I figured I have to change my Ear, ear jewelry anyway, so I figured we could do it on camera together. Maybe some of you would also enjoy watching these videos. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, the main ear that we're going to be focusing on is my left ear. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have quite a few piercings in this ear. Um, the ones that we're going to be changing is my conch piercing, which that is going to be a whole separate video. So the ones that we're just going to be changing in this video is my forward helixes, my tragus and my rook piercing as you can see in there so I did already attempt to change my rook piercing off camera and the jewelry that I really wanted was a little bit too small so I had to kind of reorder another one which this one looks a little bit too big but we're gonna try it on camera anyway to see how I like it so the jewelry that I'm gonna be changing it to is stuff that I got off bodycandy.com this is not sponsored in any way I bought all of this jewelry with my own money the first set of jewelry that I got for my two forward helix and my tragus piercing are these right here they are 16 gauge um, internally threaded barbells and I don't know how well you will be able to see this but the little jewels are like a really pretty like aqua blue color and I thought it would look really nice if they all were kind of like matching so that's what we're gonna be doing and they come in three different sizes um, the third being the largest and the third being the smallest so it's gonna kind of have like a gradient of sizes with you know the jewelry so that is what I'm gonna be changing those into it'll look really really nice I think because the jewelry that I have in now is kind of like temporary jewelry and the reason, like, what I mean by temporary is I have to wear a lot of earring retainers for work. These little, like, barbells, I don't even have balls, or barbells, horseshoes that I have in don't even have balls on the end of them just because they're really easy to slip on and out, in and out, I mean. So that's kind of what I have rocking here, and I think it looks absolutely horrible. Like, I hate the way my left ear looks right now, and I really want to change it to something really nice. So that's what we're going to be doing. Speaking of like work and stuff, if I look a little bit tired, if my makeup looks a little bit run down, um, you can see my little friend joined me today. Uh, I did my makeup at 4 o'clock this morning for work, so that's kind of why I'm looking a little bit rough here. And for my rook, I really wanted something that was going to match my future conch piercing jewelry, so I just got a 16 gauge curved barbell. This is going to be for my rook. The one that I got originally for it was like an 8 millimeter, and I noticed that was a little bit too small, like I couldn't even put the other ball on on the bottom, so I went on and I got, I believe, a 10 millimeter, hoping it's going to be a little bit easier for me, but to me this looks a little bit longer than 10 millimeters. This looks like 13-ish, so I'm hoping it's not too ridiculously long. If it is, I will just leave it in until I can find yet another you know, a better ring for it, and if worse comes to worse, I just have to go into my piercer to do so. So I am just going to put my hair up like this. I'll probably move a little bit closer to the camera, and we can go ahead and get started. Like I said, all the jewelry that I'm going to be using today was bought off Body Candy. If you are someone who is not a fan of Body Candy jewelry, or you don't think that it's um, good quality then you can just click out of this video now I've been buying from body candy for years with absolutely no issue um, on my right ear this ear is pretty much staying the same nothing's really changed too much about this um, I have my date piercing uh, these little diamond studs that you are seeing in my second and thirds same with this ear These were also bought off body candy this little ear piece that you're seeing right here I found this at the mall actually they have like a little like body jewelry stand So this was bought at extreme body gear I'm pretty sure and it's literally just like one piece and it kind of looks like that But it looks really stupid like that. So what I do is I simply just flip it like this and it kind of looks cool. It kind of looks like one, one big piercing. So I really like the way that looks. And then I just have like a little barbell up here. So that's what I have rocking in my right ear. I'm going to go quickly wash all of the body jewelry that I got. I also have some hand sanitizer for myself in between changing. I have a Kleenex to use for better grip to get balls on and off. 
I also have a little sea salt soak solution to help me with lubrication. And I also have some Q-tips here as well to help me with, you know, kind of lubing up the piercings as well. So um, let me go do that really quick and we can go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here we go. We are gonna start changing out all of the jewelry. So again, here are what the little um, gems look like. They're, this one's the smallest one, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like a really pretty like blue color. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but all three of them are like that. And I don't know how I want to do sizing. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but um, I think I kinda wanna start with my rook piercing. If you are noticing my ears a little bit red, I did rub it down and clean it a little bit before starting, just cleaned like my overall ear. That way it's just easier and a lot more sanitary to do, I guess you could say. Um, part of me wants to start with my rook, and I'm just going to pop out my forward helix piercings first, just cause it'll be a lot easier for me to get to. There we go. And I'm going to pop out the old rook piercing. As you can see, this was just way too short for me. The next thing I'm going to do is take a Q-tip, put it in some sea salt solution, and just kind of lube up the area a little bit just to kind of clean everything in depth there. And I'm like already shaking. So the way I want to do this, I really want to go from the bottom up, but when I tried to do that for the first time, it just was not working for me. So if that doesn't work, we're just going to go from top to bottom. So I'm just going to change my angle here so you guys can maybe hopefully see better. It's super hard to find the bottom hole here, and I don't know why that is, but I just can't ever seem to get it. So Okay, so I inserted the jewelry. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this from bottom to top is because I feel like it would be easier for me to put the ball on. So that's kind of why I wanted to do that, but I can never find the bottom hole to my rook piercing, if that makes sense, and try to change it like that. Now, these balls are a little bit on the bigger side, so hopefully this is a lot easier to do. Okay, so I have literally been trying to get this ball on for like 15 minutes now and it is just not going. So I'm going to have to try off camera where I have a little bit better view. So we're just going to leave that one for now and move on to the other ones. Like, I'm sorry guys, but the rook piercing is probably the most irritating piercing in the entire world to put the damn ball on. Okay, so as you can see, my ear is getting very, very red right now because I can just, I cannot get that ball on to save my life. So we're just going to move on to my forward helix and tragus piercings because I can almost guarantee those are going to be a lot easier. Now this may be a little difficult to some of you because you kind of have to do it from behind. So basically you just kind of have to like poke around back there like that. So I'm just going to poke that all the way through. And then you basically just take the little gem part and I like to kind of push it out. And then just twist it um, like that. So it'll just sit right in there. And then always make sure that you're tightening them. Next, I'm going to move on to the next forward helix. So again, the same way. Basically just twist this off. Kind of just push through. I'm really sorry about my hair. Like... I wish I was bald when it came to changing piercings because my hair just gets in the way constantly. So I'm sorry. I got it poked through. Again, no pain whatsoever. And I'm just going to stick the jewelry in. So here are the two forward helix piercings changed. Next, I'm going to slide out my tragus jewelry. Just give it a quick wipe down. And this one's a little bit harder. All right, so I got that one. Okay, 
So there are all of the forward helixes changed and my little tragus. So these were extremely easy. The only issue that I had was just trying to get the ball on this one. Um, I'm going to try off camera some more so I can like focus more on my piercings rather than like focus on filming to try to get the ball on, but I was able to get the jewelry in. Oh, I'm sorry that this was kind of a fail. Um, I This did not go as well as I had hoped it would. I figured having longer jewelry and a little bit bigger um, diameter size on the balls, it would be easier for me, but I just cannot get this damn thing. Um, but like I said, I'll keep trying and keep you guys posted on, you know, if I do get it or not. My fingers hurt so freaking bad. Basically, I had about five mirrors surrounding me so I could see my ear from pretty much every angle. And I had to basically push down on the top of the ball. I did just change my conch piercing. You guys will see that video after this one. So that's kind of what another difference you're seeing. Anyway, I basically had to like push down, hold it, twist it, get the ball, match it up, twist it on, all while looking in all these different mirrors with different zooms. Like it was insane, but I finally got it. I just wanted to include this little part in on this video just because I feel like um, I needed to update you guys because I do have a lot of piercings, but I don't want you guys to be fooled. I am such an average normal person that even I have struggles with it. Like you'll see some people who just change their piercings, bing, bing, bang, boom, and they're done. But I'm here to tell you that I have struggles changing my jewelry all the time, so don't ever feel alone when it comes to that. But I just wanted to share what my ear fully looks like now. As you can see, it looks much more complete having the balls on. I am pretty happy with this length. It's not as long as my original one, but it's not as short as the one that I did have in. So very, very happy news to report. I just wanted to, like I said, include this in this video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for coming back for this little update. <laughs> Bye, guys.